As far as we're concerned, this is another treat from our um, from our barling collection. Um, <clears throat> first of all, a beautifully compact um, holding case, about the size of a small glasses case, and um, judging by the the finish on it, it's um, it's crocodile skin. So beautiful to the touch, really tactile. Um, opening it up. Um, We've got something that we think of as uh, as really quite special. It's a, a an unsmoked matching pair of um, of barling small barling pipes. Um, the difference between this set and others that we have in the collection is that um, obviously we have one which has the vulcanite um, stem, and this which has a a, a really beautifully detailed amber stem and it's a little different from some of the other amber stems we've seen because it, it's got this um, it's got this lovely almost graining in it um, and um, it very much like uh, obviously what, what a lucite stem is, is trying to uh, is trying to copy um, the markings on them well they're pre-transition obviously um, we have barlings make and ye old wood um, this is one of the old woods, you won't be able to see it on, on the video, but that you really do wonder why it wasn't given a slightly better grading, the old wood being almost their standard definition. Uh, there's, some, there's some beautiful bird's eye uh, graining on it, but then I think the history shows that um, depending on who the master maker was at the time, uh, depended upon the, um, the grading it was given. And also across the top of the... Um, uh, of the bowl there's just this beautiful straight graining gives it a, a really impressive look um, so we have the uh, the barlings bake the old wood and then uh, a very subtle um, silver ring bearing in mind that the barling brothers um, were originally silversmiths um, these have dulled with age they'd probably polish up but they have a lovely a lovely dark patina on them uh, and they have the WBEB and the hall marking which Although this hasn't actually uh, got a date on it, I know from some of the other sets that we've got that we're probably looking at uh, early 1900s, so 1920s, something like that. Um, and yeah, the one amber, one vulcanite um, gives it uh, a real different feel. I know also that they would often make these and then keep them until they found another pipe with um, very similar graining and then match them up as a pair. Um, and they've done a, a great job here. They really are beautiful. They're almost, almost identical. But actually, if you if you hold them like this, you can actually see there's you know there is a difference in in shape and and ever so slightly size between the two as well. Um, they also, um, as featured in one of the previous videos, have this straight through um, smoke hole on on the button. And again, that is uh, that was shows that it was pre World War Two, uh, as as the, um, the the elongated smoke hole only came to being after that. It was was actually patented after the Second World War. Um, so a, a lovely pair. Um, this is this is one of the ones we really cherish, and um, yeah, another insight into some of the history of uh, of barling pipes.